I was talking to my trainer the other day. We were working out in my backyard, man, and I sat down on the wall and I said, man, I'm struggling today, this is hard. And he said, what do you mean? I said, man, this workout is hard. He said, no, man, this is hard. He said, how you came from a poor kid in the projects to this house you got in this neighborhood? He said, that's hard. And I had to catch myself because working out ain't near as hard as the struggle to get where you want. Everybody in this room wants two things. Everybody wants to be successful and everybody want to be happy. I'm going to tell you something about that. That that happiness and success is available for every last one of you. But I'm going to tell you what you're going to have to do. You're going to change your mindset. The difference between successful people and non-successful people is right here. It ain't no difference. I ain't got no more than none of y'all got. God gave me the same thing he gave y'all. God loved me the same as he loved all y'all. But you have got to change your mindset. If you think that they're going to mail this money to your house, you're dead wrong about that. If you think they're going to pave the way for you and make it easy, you're dead wrong about that. If you want to be successful, you got to change your mind and you're going to have to have some faith. Listen to me, rich people think differently. So what I'm going to put in your head today is a rich people concept. The only difference between successful people and not is just how they think. Rich people think different. You don't need another program to be successful. You need to change the way you think. The problem with becoming a millionaire is that when you decide that you want to be a millionaire, you immediately start thinking, how can I become a millionaire? Well, that thought don't just pop into your head. So you get frustrated and you don't become a millionaire. And you start creating stuff like, well, I guess this wasn't the Lord's will. You can't think of how to make a million dollars. Stop. But suppose I told you how you can become a millionaire with what you have. I am here to tell you that you can come from nothing and become something. Because here's the deal. All of you have everything it takes to become rich. You just don't believe it. I have the way for you to be rich. This is it. First of all, all of you have a gift. God gave it to you when he created you. The two most important days of your life is the day you're born and the day you discover why. All you have to do is uncover this gift that God gave you at birth. God never created a single soul without giving them a gift. That's the God that created you. He's a very smart God. God put what you needed inside of you at birth. All of you have a gift. But you have got to do your gift. The thing God gave you at birth to do, it is the thing that you do the absolute best with the least amount of effort. That's your gift. Anything else you do and you wasting your time. Do most of you know what your gift is? Okay, let me tell you what you do. Go home today. Sit down and have one conversation with yourself. What is the thing that I do the absolute best with the least amount of effort. Write it down. I don't care if it's babysitting. I don't care if it's painting. Whatever it is, it's what you do. Sing it. Whatever you do the best, write it down. That's it. You ain't got to go asking a bunch of people. Now, let me ask you this question. This thing that you're gifted at, if you did it for somebody, do you think somebody would pay you $10 for your gift? Could you babysit for $10? Could you cut somebody's hair for $10? Could you cut their grass for $10? Could you do something for $10? Everybody, don't you have something somebody would give you $10 for? Okay, now, once you have something that somebody's willing to pay you $10 for, this is how this works. It's called the multiples of 10. See, you don't have to figure out how to be a millionaire. You just got to figure out the thing that makes you $10. So now here we go. You do it and you make $10. As Soon as they pay you the 10, go do it 10 more times. Whatever it was, watch some more kids 10 more times. 
get another 10, you got $100. When you get $100, whatever you did to make that $100, do it 10 more times. You'd have made $1,000. Whatever you did to make the $1,000, don't get smart, stay stupid now. Do it 10 more times. Hold up. Now we finna grow a little bit, but guess what you gotta do to grow? You just gotta do some more. Whatever you made $10,000 doing, I need you to do it 10 more times. What you tripping for? If you do it 10 more times, you got $100,000. Now you might have to hire some people to make this happen. You gotta figure that part out. But all you gotta do is do what you did for $10. Once you make $100,000, if you just do it 10 more times, Here's the big challenge of life. You can have more than you've got because you can become more than you are. And of course, the other side of the coin reads, unless you change how you are, you'll always have what you got. I have found in my experience that income does not far exceed personal development. Now, sometimes income takes a lucky jump, but sure enough, unless you grow out where it is, it'll usually come back where you are. If somebody hands you a million dollars, best you become a millionaire quickly. So you get to keep the money. Otherwise, sure enough, it'll disappear. Somebody once said, if you took all the money in the world, divided it up equally among everybody, it would soon all be back in the same pockets. Success is something you attract, not something you pursue. So instead of going after it, you work on yourself personal development because true happiness is not contained in what you get happiness is contained in what you become a friend of mine bishop td jake said if you got a problem man or money can solve you ain't got no problem so i want you to think about your goals and dreams and here's what i want you to do right now i want you to say to yourself it's possible let me share something with you the easiest thing that i do every year is to live my dream. The easiest thing I do every year is what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Those are the easy things that I do. Let me share with you the most difficult thing that I've ever done in my life. And that was to believe that I could do it. To believe that I, Les Brown, who was born in an abandoned building on a floor in a poor section of Miami, Florida, to believe that I, Les Brown, who was labeled educable mentally retarded, put back from the fifth grade to the fourth grade, to believe that I have the ability to live the life that I'm now living. And I want you to think about your goals and dreams, and I want you to expand them. Why? Because it has been said that most people fail in life not because they aim too high and miss. No, most people fail in life because they're just like I was for 14 years. They aim too low and hit. The reason that I procrastinated for 14 years was because when I was in the fifth grade and Mrs. Mary Ford Williams said to Mrs. Crompton, he doesn't belong here. He is slow. And they put me back from the fifth grade to the fourth grade. That affected me. They say sticks and stones will break your bones, but words will never hurt you. Yes, they will. What is it as you look in your past that's affecting you right now? I, I saw a movie called Magnolia. Powerful line in that movie. We might be through with our past, but our past is not through with us. But you've got to take full responsibility. If everything work out for you, fine. If you have the money, fine. If you can get the help and support of friends and family members and your spouse, great. But if you don't, all of those things are minor things. The major key to your reaching your goals is you. Nobody's going to work on your dream harder than you. You've got to take responsibility to make it happen. If it happens when you come out the gate, fine. But if you fail, so what? Come back again and again and again and again. If it's something that you love, if it's your passion, until you do it. The people that make it in this life, they look around for the circumstances that they want. And if they can't find them, they create them. It's you. You've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. Don't see yourself as a victim. And it's hard. It's hard. Changing your life is hard. It's hard to keep your spirit up. And people don't see the vision. The sacrifice that you have to make, I can tell you from my experience. 
it's worth it. Here's something I want you to keep in mind. Life is a fight for territory. And once you stop fighting for what you want, what you don't want will automatically take over.